recording now. Okay. Hey everyone, so Esther Hornstein and I are here today to give you some general tips and advice how we can all stay healthy and uh, sane during these challenging times. I am a personal trainer and a massage therapist and I teach Pilates and um, I work individually and with groups. Um, I do massage from uh, my home studio. And uh, yeah, so Esther, do you want to give a brief uh, description sure. of you and what you do? Sure, I'm a traditional Chinese medical practitioner. So I use mainly acupuncture and oriental medicine um, as my healing modality. And um, a lot of folks are, are stuck at home which is okay. And we want, you know, me and Samantha want to talk about things to help during these times that you can do at home to stay healthy. Great. Yeah. So, um, I mean, a lot of people I feel are quite, uh, have, we have sed sedentary lives anyway because of technology. We're, we're sitting a lot. And now being in our homes, we're sitting even more. So and I, yeah, I want to talk about how, how to stay active and how to watch what we're eating and take, con take control of our, of our diets at, at this time. I'm sure Esther does also. So Esther, um, what do you think, what, what can you advise women now or, or men or anyone at this time to help them through uh, these challenging times of being in isolation? So, so you touched on really good things about being active, and that is so very important. Um, one of the big organs in Chinese medicine is the liver, which is as well in Western medicine. The, the role of the liver is to um, be in control of the free flow of movement of qi and blood to maintain health in the body. And the worst thing we can do right now is be stagnant, to, to feel stuck. I mean, we're already feeling stuck in our four walls but physically we also we, we, we have to prevent that feeling of stagnation because that could also cause many health issues so um so there's the the movement and um the diet like you said uh, it's also very important to address emotional needs of people at the time and um and there's actually some acupressure points um some points on the hand and on the chest that um, I'd love to teach you that you can do at home, you can do it on yourself, you can do it on your family uh, to help you stay healthy and calm. Okay, so what, um, for somebody who doesn't understand acupressure has never done that before, like, could you summarize it? Sure, uh, like in a minute. In a minute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the organs in our body um, express themselves throughout channels elsewhere. So in other words, our lungs have a, a channel or, or, or a meridian or a string that starts from the, the collarbone and goes down to the thumb. And there are about nine points along this, this wire from the lung. Um, and each of these points dominate a different function of the lung in Chinese medicine. So by pressing or stimulating either with a needle or a magnet or with pressure or essential oils or electricity or a laser, any sort of stimulating of these points affects change all the way back to this organ. So the acupressure points um, are ways that you can affect change within your own body. So how about if we take a few key ones that people might be experiencing right now, like maybe anxiety or um, worry or, um, any of those types of emotions that might be coming out because of the unknown or you know, from the challenges that we have right now? Okay, so um, points, my favorite points to treat anxiety, um, I'll show you two of them. They're on the inside of the wrist. If you measure two fingers from your wrist crease and then go in the center, you'll feel like two tendons so in between those two tendons and two fingers down from the wrist crease is a point called pericardium six. It's actually a very popular point um, during pregnancy because it's also good for nausea and it's also good for chemotherapy patients for nausea. And the reason why it's helpful for nausea and for anxiety is because this point, the pericardium point, travels all the way to the chest 
and it helps to open the chest. Mm -hmm. So when somebody's pressing this point, it makes it an, an, an immediate opening inside the chest for breath to relax and descend so that we kind of get that, that relief, that anxious relief. So mm -hmm. all these points I would recommend you, you press gently for 30 seconds each and you can massage it even with your thumb very gently and um and this is one major point that you can do on yourselves you can do on children uh the next point i'm going to move the camera a bit it's actually in the center of the chest um so you do it to yourself and um it's imagine imagine the the fourth rib or the nipple line right in the center pressing it's it's tender on a lot of people, and that's okay if it feels tender, if it feels a little sore, that's fine. Breathe into the tenderness and massage it for 30 seconds, and you'll notice your ribs sort of open up, and you kind of have to take a deep breath in because it, release, it immediately releases a lot of pressure that's built up in the center of the chest. I can definitely feel that. I yeah. heard, I don't know if this is right, is there a point here for migraines? Yeah, um, so um, I brought down just another other couple points people might need to use during these times they can't get to their doctors. So the point between the thumb and the index finger, you sort of, you put your, you put it, your thumb together, it makes this mountain. So you press on this mountain, this point is called large intestine four, and this is a, it's a general pain point. It really, if you have pain anywhere, it's helpful, even for menstrual cramps. Um, because, and uh, it's a good point for migraines because this is on the large intestine channel that starts, that starts on the, the big finger and then goes to the head. It even is really good for, for, for dental pain and even for sinuses because it goes along this whole channel. So this is called large intestine four. Again, you massage it for 30 seconds. Interesting. Great. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I've, I've, I've prepared a couple other points that people want to learn for immune support. Very and uh, at this time. <laughs> yeah. And if, if they are feeling a cough or if they're feeling any respiratory symptoms, there are some um, easy to get to points if you're interested. Okay. So where, where, would, they, where would they be? All right. So... Um, a major point for, for cough, um, or if someone's having an asthma attack, is um, right, where, right where the shoulder begins. So if this is the beginning of my collarbone, and this is the end of the collarbone. I would cut that space in half, and then I would cut that space in half again, and be right in the beginning of where the shoulder begins. And this point is called lung one. It might also be tender. I mean, I have lung issues, so it's always tender on me. Um, and this is a good point if somebody's wheezing, um, if somebody feels like they, they, they can't catch their breath. Um, this is a great point. And someone can do it on themselves this way, both sides. You do it both, both sides together? It's for the best if results? So yeah, if somebody's really having some respiratory distress, trouble breathing or wheezing, then do them both at the same time. Okay, good to know. And it's good for you to know also if you have a client after running, starts to get a little wheeze or anything. Ah. I, first, okay. I first learned this point when I was a martial artist and okay. I would have trouble. And then my teacher would come and he would like stab me. You, know, you, <laughs> could, do it much, you could do it much nicer here. Right, no, it's, it's very good to know. It's good to be able to incorporate that into, uh, into massage also, I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Um, all, the, all these points, really helpful. Um, let's see, and I have two more here if we have time. Um, the point from your elbow here. Imagine you yeah. have your, your thumb line, the thumb line. So... There's like a big mound of flesh by this muscle here, where it's tender. This is an immune system point. All right. Okay, and this last one is sort of right where you would take your pulse. 
on the lung channel, and this is for a phlegmy, wet cough. Okay. okay. I, know my head, I know my head's cut off, but I figured it's more important to <laughs> see the, the point, point that we're pressing on yeah. there. I get yeah. it. These are for, for a wet, phlegmy cough, and this is for immune system. So you could do it, you know, anyone can do it now, anywhere. It actually feels really satisfying. You just stick your thumb in there yep. and go at it. Interesting. So, so there's some great tips there, and um, both to help with emotional acupressure for emotions and for more physical symptoms. You know, like you said, cough, colds, um, headaches, things like that. So, no, that's great. Thank you very much. And I'm sure people will be able to benefit. And it's not so. It's not so invasive. Like you could do it sitting on the sofa, reading to your kids. You don't need to be in a special room, or um, you know, you just do it whenever. And no one has to know that you're having a panic attack <laughs> in front of your kids. Secret anxiety so attack. <laughs> I'd be like, Mommy, why are you massaging your chest? And you're like, oh, oh, I've got some heart. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know, no one, no one has to know, you know, what you're feeling. And it says, you know, the massage is like the first medicine ever. You know, so, you know, when your kid falls down, they bang their head. What do you do? You massage it. So this That's is very, true. very primordial, very... Uh, natural, instinctual, and very healing. 